Hey guys, this is Soul Rack 333 with another review. And here I have the Transformers the Movie 1986 Studio Series Dinobot Swoop. And I finally have the entire set complete. I found Swoop the same time I found Springer here. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy to finally have him. Well, he's very cool. Uh, to me though, I kind of feel like this figure should be an ultra class, not a leader class. Uh, back when they had uh, deluxes, voyagers, and leader classes, there was that class in between voyager and leader class, the ultra class, and I think this is where this figure belongs. Um, but uh, that said, he is very cool. Uh, the previous version was the Combiner's War. That was a deluxe sized figure. Um, and I liked that set. Um, I think uh, I never had the G1 figures. So to me, that whole set was like an updated version of the G1 figures. Uh, so they look cool and uh, they're a nice size and then you know you have the added bonus of being able to combine them which was cool um, but uh, but definitely not to scale to where they you know, should be um, but what I like about that set is uh, that Grimlock Hey, the ghosty just meowed at me. Ghosty, okay, we'll get food in a minute. I'll be right there. Get your food. Ghosty. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I just started this review and I better wrap it up. My goodness, Ghosty's angry with me. Ghosty. Yes, you want the food? <laughs> Be there in a second. Oh my, I better hurry this up. I'm going to make this a two-parter video. <laughs> so uh, that Grimlock to me was an updated version of the Classics Grimlock, which if I never liked. It was neat, but that's not Grimlock. And once they did the Combiner Wars, I sold that version. Now that I have these, I am not selling my Combiner Wars. I'll keep those. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm glad I have Swoop here. Here he is with the rest of the Dinobots. Looking very cool. And transform him. It's very simple. Just kind of fold these up and around. And unpeg and unfold the feet. Now these don't really peg in, so. I guess you just kind of have to position the pterodactyl toes so that they're straight but nothing really pegs in. Unfold the feet and heels. Now I do not like the heels. I don't understand why they mold parts and colors that just do not match. Like why couldn't that be gray or black? To me that just cheapens the look and unfold the hands now this is tight man I mean let it let them clip but 
don't have to make them this tight. Pterodactyl man here. Hold this in. Get this out of the way. And separate this. Now, if you peg it in all the way, it's really hard to separate. I feel like I'm going to break something. So if you peg them in flush, it's very hard to separate. You know? Then just fold this down. Unpeg the forehead. Then fills in the chest. And there he is in his robot mode, looking very cool. Here he is with a sword. So, yeah, looks awesome. Very clean, no kibble, which is why that just looks so stupid everything about this figure looks so clean in dino mode and robot mode and then they do this should have made it black or, or gray there's all the good articulations Big and strong. And I like this design for the hips. You know, make it so that the entire hip can swivel. I don't like those hip skirts where when you move the leg up the entire skirt lifts up with it just design it so that it looks good static and posed yeah there he is in his robot mode now I shall go feed the ghost and I'll be right back the Transformers will return after these messages. Ghosty, you want food? Ghosty. Ghosty. You want food? Ghosty's happy, she's eating her food. We now return to the Transformers. And here he is with the other guys in their robot mode looking very powerful yes that is cool you have wheel jack in there. Yep. And then Optimus.
Mm -hmm. See bumblebee. Look how huge they all are with little bumblebee. And then Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ultra Magnus. I still think I don't remember if Grimlock is actually still bigger than Ultra Magnus. And uh, speaking of Grimlock, this is the Grimlock I have displayed on my classic shelf. It's the old masterpiece, the official masterpiece Grimlock. That's the one I have displayed on my uh, classic shelf. And uh, yeah, I think both of them look good together. So he's on my classic shelf, and the rest of these Dinobots will just be on their own shelf. And this guy is, oh, maybe I can move him to be on, on the same shelf. I know I have the upgrade set, but I don't know what I did with the feet. <laughs> I have to look into that. And the hands too. Maybe they weren't good enough. You know, and I just wanted to, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, here they all are. Complete all of my leader class Dinobots. Um, some of them with upgrade sets, Grimlock and Sludge here. Uh, if there's any really good upgrade sets that can really improve on these, I might get them. There's that one, I think it was Nonaf Studios. They had a clear chest piece. I don't know why you would design it like that and then have an opaque piece like that. You know. So if I can get a clear one, that'd be nice. But, uh, but yeah, I'm very happy to have the whole set. This is awesome. I love it. Damn. And uh, Ghost has been fed. All is well. Thanks for watching.